Hello all. In this video, I'm going to be simulating a EFI or UEFI uh, boot scheme in uh, VirtualBox just to simulate uh, how you would do that on your main system. Uh, there are a couple of things that differ, but this will give you an idea and give you a chance to try out if you have a UEFI uh, enabled system. So the only thing different in VirtualBox under settings and system is right here. Uh, just tick enable EFI and then you're good to go. So I'll start uh, VirtualBox and what happens is at first uh, it'll Arch Linux ISO UEFI USB and you have to wait a minute or so. Uh, before it loads. All right, so we're at the uh, familiar Arch Linux boot screen, and again, I should uh, specify that this assumes that you know how to install install Arch Linux. I have videos uh, on it, and there's several videos on YouTube that you can look at on how to install Arch Linux in VirtualBox or actually on your machine as well. So moving on, we'll assume that we have one hard drive, so that'll be specifies device SDA. So we can run uh, GDisk and we want to uh, enter the device or file name so I'll, as I just mentioned uh, slash TEV slash SDA you press enter and then we want to create a new partition table so you type uh, the letter N and default partition number we'll just leave it as one and the first sector we'll leave it as it is the second sector we type in 512M or 512 megabytes. This will be our EFI boot partition. And you press enter. Now it's going to ask for a code. You can list them out by just typing L. And you press um, enter one more. And down at the bottom, it's uh, near the bottom on the left, it's EF00. So you type, just type that in EF00 and press enter. Uh, again, we're going to uh, type new. Uh, default partition is uh, number two, and we're just going to. I'm just going to leave everything at the default, so I'm just going to press enter, uh, and the code is the same. And it says Linux file system 8300 code, and you just type W to write. And you want to proceed? Yes or Y for yes. And that's it, and it throws you back to uh, the Arch ISO prompt. And for confirmation, just do an F disk uh, space dash L. Uh, you can see right here, uh, sorry, I can't really, spell, you, I can't use the mouse here, uh, but where it says device start and sector size type, uh, device SDA1 is EFI system, and device SDA2 is Linux file system. So now we have to format both those partitions. So we'll p the format the first one, uh, the EFI, uh, which is device SDA. So uh, it has to be FAT32. So mkfs.vfat dash capital F32 and then the device you want, which is uh, slash DEV slash SDA1. Correction, I should have put uh, FVFAT, sorry. There we go, now it's been written. And then the next one is uh, mkfs.extension4 slash dev slash sda2. That's going to be the main system where we install Arch Linux. Okay, so that we have both uh, partitions formatted. So we're going to mount our main system, so it's dev sda2 in this case to slash mnt. Then we're going to make a directory, make di, mkdir slash mnt slash boot. Now we're just going to mount that. I'm just going to arrow key up and change the last slash mnt to boot and change sda1 to SD, SDA2 to SDA1 and then press enter. And just to confirm what we have there, we'll just do an ls to list uh, slash mnt. You see we have the boot and the usual lost and found 
um, in the file system. So again, if you're watching this, this assumes that you already know how to install Arch Linux. Please look on YouTube for other videos, and I also have videos on installing this in VirtualBox and also from a live install. Okay, so I'm just going to install Arch Linux, and then I'll get to the part where we need to uh, configure our bootloader for EFI. So the two two specific files we need, we're going to use Grub for the the uh, loading our uh, partition tables and uh, EFI Boot Manager. So just Pacman capital S scrub and EFI boot MGR and we'll let that download and install after those uh, files are installed this is the command you use for a 64-bit uh, OS and uh, in uh, VirtualBox so it's grub dash install two dashes target equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI and another two dashes EFI dash directory equals boot. That's the only difference from the Arch Linux wiki. And then uh, two dashes bootloader dash ID equals grub, I mean arch under, underscore grub. Okay? So it's kind of lengthy. Uh, you should write it down or whatever. And then uh, in VirtualBox. Okay? And then just uh, press enter to run the command. And it says installation finished, no errors reported. So we just generate our grub configuration file as usual. So uh, grub dash mk config dash o and then slash boot grub and grub dot cfg. And we can run our mk init uh, dash p. Linux. And if you notice, it's found the uh, root, root partition and it's also found the uh, boot image as well. All right, and that's it. So you just uh, exit and you mount slash MNT and do a dash capital R with those on mount and then reboot and there we have it um, arch is ready to go yeah uh, with EFI emulation and uh, you can proceed on proceed from there to install your desktop environment your video drivers and so on and if you uh, list out slash boot you'll see there's an EFI directory and inside that is arch grub arch underscore grub and uh, grub x64 uh, EFI okay so as I said this is VirtualBox specific and uh, if you want to give it a try with the grub method and uh, you know prepare for installing this on your system maybe this will help okay so that should do it for this one, and thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.